Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Yang Yang Table Tennis Lessons. Last week, we talked about Ding Ning's Tomahawk forehand serve. Do you still remember the homework? What kind of side spin does this serve generate? I saw some comments. You guys all get the right answer. Thanks for your participation. Yes, it is right side spin. Okay, let's just get a quick review of right and left side spin. When you contact the ball from right to left, the ball spins clockwise. It's left side spin. When you contact the ball from left to right, or left to right, the ball spin counterclockwise. It's right side spin. If you still feel confused, no worries. Please check out my previous video about understanding left and right side spin for more details. Today, we are going to talk about Ding Ling's Tomahawk backhand serve. This serve generates left side spin. You contact the ball with your backhand side. Cool. Let's check out the breakdown of this serve. For backhand serve, you can stand either close to the middle line or at your backhand side. But it's better to keep your position the same when you serve forehand and backhand serve. Otherwise, your opponent could easily tell if you stand here, you are serve forehand serve. If you stand here, you are serve backhand serve. So my advice is to stand a little bit left side from the middle line. So here, you could either do backhand or forehand. Same as the forehand serve. When you serve tomahawk backhand serve, lower your body weight, turn your body a little bit sideways. First, the starting part is the same with forehand serve. Left hand in the middle of your body and the right hand behind it. Second, here comes the most important part. When you toss the ball, your right hand should quickly turn to backhand side, like this. If you move your hand too slow, you could easily hit the blade. So you gotta to practice this in order to get used to it. Third, rotate your body when you contact the ball, like this. So you could get more strength from your body. So the whole process looks like this. When you serve a tomahawk backhand serve, you could hold your racket like this. Put your hand more to the left, some in the middle. So your wrist can get more flexible when you contact the ball. We know in order to generate left side spin, we have to contact the ball at its left part. So for tomahawk backhand serve, we swing your arm from right to left and contact the ball at its left part. Timing is hard for both tomahawk forehand and a backhand serve. You could easily miss it, or hit the blade, or perform a bad serve. This is the right timing. You contact the ball when it's false like this level. It requires lots of practice. You know what's coming next.
sweet. That's all today's lesson. Practice yourself. Leave your comments. Let me know your thoughts and your questions. All right, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.